You can think of NPM as two things. First, it's an online registry or repository of open source and free libraries and packages. It contains many JavaScript packages such as Angular, TypeScript, and Bootstrap, which is a web styling framework. Second, NPM is a command line utility for interacting with that repository. We can type commands such as npm install some library name. NPM will locate the specified library in the repository and install it on your local machine in a subfolder of the current folder named node underscore modules. In this illustration, I'm in the user's Debra folder and install a specific package, the fictitious ABC package in this example. After executing the install command, NPM locates the ABC package in the repository, creates a node module subfolder in the current folder, and installs the specified library and its dependencies in that subfolder. So NPM is a repository and a command line utility you can use to access that repository. NPM has become the package manager for JavaScript applications. With NPM, we can install libraries, packages, and applications along with their dependencies. The NPM command line utility can also execute scripts to perform tasks, such as running our application. Before we can use NPM to install other things or execute our scripts, we need to install NPM. But we can't install NPM directly. We install it by installing Node using this link. Let's take a look. Following this link takes us to the download page for Node, which installs NPM. Then select the installer appropriate for your OS. Feel free to pause here and install Node now if you don't already have it. Installing Node installs NPM. Let's check our NPM version. Open a command window and type npm-v for version. We now have a version of NPM installed. Yay! Don't forget to like and subscribe.